Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back here. I love making videos for this channel, but sometimes time just doesn't, it's not permitting. And um, I've been giving a lot of my attentions to actual homeschool, and I have been filming. It's just that the editing time is just difficult to come by, especially now because my kids are slowly entering into a new season um, because Savannah is older now and she's extremely vocal and she's extremely fun but they are extremely loud and my house is not but so big so yeah trying to contain the sounds is difficult um i took pictures of my second mom's tea for falco which i cannot wait to catch you guys up on i wanted to kind of start doing a series of sorts on this channel that kind of like um, follows along on my journey in business because I feel like it should be documented. Business is one of those things that looks easy when people do it. And it's not easy. It's not easy, but I believe that it's worth it. I love working on it. I just wish I could talk about it more. And so that's what I want to do here. Um, and I'm always trying to find ways to incorporate it into homeschool so that it's adding to our homeschool life and not taking away from it, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I painted my nails because it always makes me feel like a more productive mom, even though they're gonna be chipped tomorrow. I need to clear off this board. In other news, Savannah is reading. I'm so excited about that. Uh, she just started last week and just ran with it. Um, she's basically been trying to read everything and she's been spelling at the same time um it's really exciting to see so i wanted to talk more about that in another video about you know how that process kind of unfolded because it was a little different from my boys learning to read so i'm excited to share that as well i really want to get into these good and beautiful videos um soon i am loving this curriculum i really I really can't say enough about it. I really am loving it. You know, I want to share how it is fitting into our days. Um, I can say, because I know that a lot of you um, have contacted me um, for the Good and Beautiful videos and that you're excited and waiting to see those, but I want them to be at the right time when I have a good grasp on it and everything, but I can tell you for sure that I love them and I can tell you that my absolute favorite part about them is the scripts. So um, the uh, part, the portion of the curriculums that is the that you read to the children um, during the lesson, they are my absolute favorite. They are aligned with a lot of what I think and what we do in homeschool naturally, and they really help me on days when you just kind of you're not in like super proper teacher mom mode. So I have a little harder of a time. Is that right? A harder time um, figuring out how to say things the way I want to say them and the scripts have been amazing for days like that um, because conversation in our homeschool is everything um, the conversations that I have with my kids they're open they're honest I, I try my best in our conversations to give them the encouragement that they need and the permission that they need to go and find out information for themselves. And that's important in our homeschool, if that made any sense. Anyway, uh, so I need to go ahead and clean up this room before they wanna eat again. <laughs> because you know, second, third breakfast, fourth breakfast is a thing in homeschool. So I need to do that. I know I've said this over and over again, but I'm just gonna say it over and over again. We haven't filmed in a little bit, you get out of the routine and it's harder to jump back in so I'm jumping back in. So anyway, my goals right now are to clean everything up so we can get I can get them started with schoolwork. We have a very short school day today. After we finish our lessons, um, I have a little bit of fall code work to do. Um, I need to take some product photos of um, a few new shirts and they're not really new shirts. They're just shirts that I haven't gotten around to um, properly updating the website with. I have two mom's teas. One is Moms Make the Best Teachers. I mentioned it before, I think in my last giveaway. 
um, that I was redesigning the shirt to just have a basic black lettering and that is what I did. And I just hadn't gotten around to taking photos of it. And I also redesigned um, with a basic black lettering. My motherhood is, um, motherhood is my superpower. So they were two tees I already had in my shop. I just redesigned them because I wanted a, a more basic black lettering. And um, I need to go ahead and, yeah, take pictures of those <laughs> so that I can properly add them to the website. So, yes, and I'm not going to go into how that's coming along because I want to share in a separate video. But I'm excited about it. And I don't know how many of you guys have... Um, other projects that you work on um, besides homeschool like I know that a lot of you guys make things like candles and um, and have different businesses that you kind of dabble in on the side or in conjunction with your homeschool and I want to talk more about that because I feel like we shouldn't be ashamed um, to do that and I feel like we as homeschool moms have to do things differently um, we don't have the time or sometimes a lot of the resources so yeah I just feel like we have to do things differently like I have to have phone calls with my printer with the kids in the background you know and it's not ideal but it's the way that I do business and I'm learning that it's okay and that there's a strength in that, you know? So I want to share more about that and I want to talk more about that because a lot of you guys have reached out to me about different things that you do and I want to like, maybe we can create a little space where we can support one another, you know? Anyway, I need to get to work. I have on my motherhood is my superpower tea today because I need it. Because do you hear them screaming in the background? Yeah, not feeling like a good mom right now. <laughs> That's what I'm doing today, you guys. So hopefully you can just join me and we can catch up. Definitely racked up a lot of fines at the library this time around. And that's because I had so much fall coat stuff going on that I just didn't keep up with my um, schedule and I didn't get through all my books the way I wanted to. Normally when that happens, that means that I have a collection of books that I need to just go ahead and purchase. I'm struggling with that because I'm trying to keep things as minimal as possible in my homeschool and even though I absolutely love books, I want to only um, have my favorites because they can take up a lot of space. You know, and I don't want to take up a lot of space. So, I struggle with that. But anyway, so I had a lot of books that I actually need to go ahead and buy. But I had Once in an Alphabet, which we love this book and all the stories in it. Of course, I held on to the Boy in the Striped Pajamas because we just started it. So, we're on like chapter three or so. But I'm loving reading this with him so far. We'll see how it goes. I still have cried through much of it and he doesn't even know what's happening yet. Rosie Revere Engineer, I still have because we're working on some projects. And also you guys, did you know that, so I don't exactly know, I can't remember which one it was, but I have it in my Amazon cart, but it actually has a project book that goes along with it. I have to go and double check, but I'm getting that as soon as I can, <laughs> okay? This one we haven't read yet, Iggy Peck Architect. So really excited to read these. They really love seeing the other characters inside of the other books. So when they see Rosie in the class and when they see Ada twist in another, um, in the class, in the other books, they think that's really cool. So I think that's really cool. So I love this series of books. So Jane from the Salty Tribe, she actually sells a few things on her website. And when I first came across her, I just loved her so much and I went and I just wanted to support in any way possible because I love what she is trying to do, um, what she is doing. So anyway, I just wanted to support my girl. So I got this um, Salty Tribe Mama. So right now I'm just using the tote bag right inside of my library bin because Brian is a super huge help um, in taking back the library books that are due. So I can just use this for my, my due back book bag and then I can just leave all of the books that are not quite due yet into in this bag so that he knows which ones actually go and which ones stay because he is always returning something that I needed to keep but anyway so I thought that was cute there so this is normally what I have to do in the mornings because I'm too lazy to do it at night and I give the kids a time limit for cleaning up because after it goes past a certain time it just becomes difficult for me 
mostly. Um, so we don't always get everything cleaned up. But most of the time it's stuff like this that's out and just needs to be put away. We collected leaves the other day and they did a little bit of drawing and art with them. So I need to find a home for these somewhere. We're probably going to put them in their art books. I think that's a good idea. But random stuff like that is always sitting around this board needs to be cleared off so also can we talk about a few favorites for a moment like my new phone case <laughs> it's sparkly and pink and i love it and it's making me happy right now and also um this is something that i have been doing lately that um okay okay let's go down honesty road okay <laughs> which is a road i'm always on but let's go down honesty road so um, I have been doing an amazing job at homeschool and also trying to keep my house neat and in order and it's been a struggle because it's it's just been a struggle and you guys all know what I'm talking about but um, because I've been doing such an awesome job in that area in the area of um, love lane <laughs> I haven't been doing so great I've noticed that I just haven't been in the welcoming mood for when Brian comes home and you know normally it's like oh I'm so glad you're here like so glad you can come and help but um I, I just want to get back to that like I want to get to that dating mode and I'm and I've been praying and asking the Lord to help me in that area. So I decided that I was going to start to read um, Song of Solomon um, on a regular basis. And another thing that has been really, really, really helping me is that when I have these moments when I'm trying to clean up and prepare things and the kids are a little bit occupied, I play love songs all day long. Like, so this is totally my jam. Like, what do you guys do to keep you in the wife? Not the I'm um, taking care of you, cleaning up, cooking, that type of wife, but the, you know, you're my love, like, wife. How do you keep yourself in that mind frame and in that mode so that when he comes home, you're still cushy and lovey and, you know, that struggle is real. So, I'm trying to find, like, actual things that I can do that will help instead of just, you know, you need to X, Y, and Z. Because don't you hate that? Don't you hate when people are like, oh, you need to look look I'm tired I have been doing stuff all day long I've been cleaning all day long I no longer have spit up on me but there are other things on me okay like sticky hands and spaghetti sauce and jelly and almond butter and every time I clean something up they unclean it okay <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is I'm just trying to do better in that area just kind of preparing my heart and my mind for when he gets home so that I can you know still feel that connection with him i said all that to say that like i said one thing that's really helping me is playing love songs throughout the day so that i keep him in mind and when he gets home i still kind of have that lovey-dovey attachment towards him and i can be more you know grown <laughs> like you know so i have been doing that and totally yeah just ignore that big number up there it's not telling the honest truth <laughs> so i have been totally into this right now and playing it on my little speaker here anyway let me clean So, okay. I think my favorite one is Iggy Peck Architect, but they're all so super cute. Ada Twist, I took that one back to the library, and I still have Rosie Revere Engineer, but it's super cute too. And these illustrations, David Roberts, you're amazing. Okay, look at how cute this is. Let me show you. First of all, these rulers though, so cute. How about she's too cute? <laughs> How cute is this illustration? I love it so much. And we are moving on to some good and the beautiful history. We love this history program. 
we love this history so much so far. We're only on lesson four, I think. So that's what we're going to do today. And my face is super shiny. Do I look like I'm glowing or do I look like I'm a greasy mess? Okay, anyway, this is what we're getting into now. Okay, so today is going to be our third lesson on in our history, year one. And I think that it includes us playing the Keys of History game Yay. for the first time. We're gonna start with our first memorization from George Washington. Okay, Kendall, what do you remember? A good moral character is the first essential in a man. It is therefore highly important that you should endeavor not only to be learned but fortune. George Washington. Now? Yes. A good moral character is the first essential in a man. It is therefore highly important that you should endeavor not only to be learned but virtuous. George Washington. Yay! <laughs> Tell me what you know, little mama. A good moral character. Highly important that you should endeavor not only to be learned and virtuous. George Washington! <laughs> we are really enjoying the dramatizations that come with the curriculum. So all you do is log in with your password that you've been given in the curriculum and then you just listen. You just listen to whichever one they tell you to play. And it's really engaging. We really enjoy listening to them. So that's what we're going to do next. As they walk through the forest, enjoying the warm rays of the morning sun through the trees, Uncle Henry spoke. Well, we ended yesterday with Enoch's story. Only a few generations after Enoch, the people in the world had become so wicked that God determined to clean them. So, I found one somewhere. Ignoring the fact that some of the children, even some of the older ones, even the ones as grown up as her, looked as if they were crying. The people who lived on their own on everybody's road but didn't seem to have any relatives at all were wearing the same clothes. A pair of gray striped pajamas with a gray striped cap on their head. How extraordinary, he muttered before turning away. 